She catches Goliath and an updraft, but doesn't quite achieve the root. She digs her talons into the wall. The others drag her and Goliath up to safety. <laughs> Hudson grabs a sheet off the clothesline and covers the mirror. We don't want anything else jumping out from this thing. A light blinded me. And then I fell. I have never fallen before. Elisa? You've changed back to normal. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. You've changed. You're human. You fell because you don't have wings. Uh, Elisa, we've always been human. I. We've never needed wings to glide before. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We must have used wings. How else can we glide? Elisa is right. We are supposed to be gargoyles. And we are not. Everyone else should be human. But thanks to Demona and Puck, they are not. Is it done? Oh, yes. They exit an alley, but the people of Manhattan are still gargoyles. I told you to turn the gargoyles to humans! Oh, you meant these gargoyles. I thought you meant Goliath and his clan. My mistake. Your last mistake! Hold on, I thought you'd be pleased. Goliath is a puny human now, and at your mercy. Bronx runs through Rockefeller Center. One of the transformed gargoyles reaches out to pet it. <laughs> Good boy. Humans, look out, run! Goliath, the trio, and Hudson, who still carries the rat mirror, arrive on the scene, causing a panic. Oh no, humans, run away! Ugly monsters. Are you sure this is a good idea? <laughs> Demona must have done this to make us vulnerable to her attack. Our only chance is to keep the battle here, on the ground, where her wings will be of no use. Unwrap the mirror. Hudson whips the bed sheet off the mirror. Here they come! Demona and Puck fly out of the mirror. Demona opens fire with a plasma rifle, scattering the clan. Run! <laughs> One of Demona's blasts shatters a shop window full of medieval weaponry. Goliath dives for a sword and shield. I would know you no matter what you'll form, Goliath. Goliath is barely able to block her next shot with his shield. <clears throat> Behind them, Hudson is drawing his sword. Broadway has scooped up a pipe, Brooklyn a mace, and Lex an axe. They close in on Puck from four sides. Take care of them, Puck. As you wish. Humans love a battle, Hardy. So does Puck. Come on, let's party. <laughs> you come up with a rhyme on short notice. <laughs> Puck's magic transforms Broadway's pike into a large sunflower, which wraps around his body. <laughs> Brooklyn's mace becomes a rocket he blasts off. Uh, uh! Lex's axe blade starts spitting like a deadly pinwheel that strains towards him. Uh, uh! and the ground beneath Hudson's feet transforms into sticky tar. Demona. Oh. But on true friends. 
Meanwhile, the ex-gargoyle trio faces off against the former human gargoyles. No way we can take them! Hey, we're the monsters, remember? So? Demona summoned you. Do it, and you will win your freedom. It will be my pleasure, but afterwards I'm going to need a very long nap. First the humans I'll attend. Energy fires off Puck's entire body, reflecting off the mirror, striking the large antenna on the other tower, and spreading across the city. The populace, including Elisa, is transformed back into humans. For one brief moment, she and Goliath are both human. Then the gargoyles I will mend. But Goliath is jolted back from Elisa. He hunts <laughs> in the trio, and Bronx all become gargoyles again. If his efforts you commend, free Puck, let him homeward wend. I always keep my promises. You are free. Goliath snaps Puck's chains. <clears throat> Quickly, Puck grabs Demona and steps through the mirror, pulling it in after him. The last traces disappear with the ring of a tiny silver bell. The mirror rematerializes back at Timona's lair. She and Puck emerge, and she slumps wearily into a chair. Ha <laughs> ha that was a romp indeed. Spare me your gloating, just go. Without giving you something in return for all this merriment, Puck is many things, but never a poor guest. Please, leave. Insulted, Puck vanishes, but his voice lingers. You wanted to be your gargoyle self by night, but not stone by day. So be it. Fearsome creature who would stay, unchanged by the light of day, remain you thus throughout the night, and be thou flesh by dawn's fair light. Oh. Goliath carries Elisa back to the clock tower. Hudson and the others rarely take their customary places. It's almost dawn. I would have liked to have seen the sun just once. Elisa, I... Yeah, I know. You're just as relieved to, as I am to get things back to normal. That is not what I was going to say. She puts a hand over his mouth, and then the sun rises, turning Goliath and the others to stone. I know, but that's the way it is. I... Ramona watches the rising sun. I don't believe it. He actually did it. And the sun is so warm. I never dreamed it could feel this good. Just then the moment turns to see her reflection in the magic mirror. She has been transformed into a human. No! She smashes the mirror, and we fade to black. The end.